In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a split test campaign inside Optimize Press, where it allows you to split test a couple of different pages so you can see which page actually performs better or generates more leads to get onto your mailing list. So first things first, you're going to need a Google Analytics account. Okay, and obviously you're going to have want to have your Optimize Press site set up and installed. So firstly, inside Optimize Press, I've created three pages. You need three pages to get started with a split test campaign. So here we look at the first page. This is called page A. So this is a variation page, the first variation page. Then we've got page B, which is the second variation page. And then we've got a confirmation page or like your success page. Okay, so you can excuse the design on these. There's nothing fancy to them. What I'm just trying to do is show you exactly how to do it in very easy steps. You want to have a first page, second page, and a third page. Okay, so I've got page A, page B, and my split test confirmation. We need these pages, which is going to go and put inside analytics. So let's go over to analytics now. From inside analytics, we're going to create a new account. So from here, I'm going to scroll down or click on here, and I'm going to scroll to the bottom, and I want to create new account and then here I'm going to put in my website name so I'm just going to call this optimize press demo this is the account name the main account name for my analytics site. I'm just going to copy that as well and put this into here for my website name and from here we want to put into our, our URL that we're using so I'm going to go back to my site I'm going to copy the URL pop that in here and I'm going to remove the HTTP and don't worry if yours says www mine doesn't it's just in the installation that I've set up um, so just put in exactly what your URL is showing in the address bar here um, industry I'll just choose computers and electronics and we're going to choose our time zone which we're in And from here, you can choose with you if you want to have other Google products allowing access. Um, I'm just going to uncheck these for now because it's only a demo site. Get your tracking ID, then you want to change this again to your country. So just accept the terms and conditions, and it's going to go ahead and create my analytics account now. So inside analytics, the first thing it shows is my tracking code. So I want to copy all of this code. I'm going to go back over to Optimize Press and into my Optimize Press dashboard. I'm going to choose Analytics and Tracking, expand the Analytics Tracking tab, and then I'm going to paste in here my code. Then we'll scroll down and click Save Changes. Okay, so that's my tracking code, which I've now got into Analytics. That's going to be applied across all of my pages now inside my Optimize Press site. So once we've done that, we need to go back into analytics. And what we're going to do here, we're going to create a goal inside analytics. And this is the goal, the confirmation, so we can track the end result of our split test. So from here, we want to just, if I click at the top, I'm going over to this section here for goals. So I click on goals. And I'm going to click on create new goal. And I'm going to choose the custom option here. And you can choose these other sort of predefined templates they have for setting up your goals. Um, we're actually just doing a sign up. I'm just going to go with a custom template just to keep this bit simple. So I'll click on next step. And I'm going to give this um, goal a description. And to keep it simple, it's going to call it split test. And I'm going to choose destination as the end result. And I'll click on next step again. Now from here, we want to put in our end result page or our success page. So I'm going to go back over to the site and the page that I created. This is why we want to create these pa these pages early on so that we know the URLs for them and the things that Google Analytics requires. And in here, I'm going to paste in the URL. Now, there's a couple of different options you want to look at. We have equals to, begins with, or regular expression. Now, equals to is obviously the exact URL. Begins with means as long as it begins with the page URL and then anything that comes after it, it doesn't matter. So it's only tracking what begins with. So what I'm going to do is paste in here my URL. I'm going to delete this back. And so this means anything that begins with this and then whatever follows afterwards is going to track 
Now, the reason that we have begins with is because some uh, mailing list providers and affiliate programs and things, they prepend or put e extra characters and variables onto these URLs. Now, you'll know your own mailing list software, so you'll know if it does that or it doesn't. Um, but that's why we're using begins with. It's kind of the safer option. If you know the exact URL you send them to, you can use equals to. That, that's the one I stick with begins with for when I'm doing my split test campaigns that I set up. So we leave it set there as begins with because we know that there's no other parameters going to be added after this URL. These two options as well, I'm going to leave these off. They're there if you're doing a bit more advanced tracking. If you have things like funnels set up, you can also add a value for every lead that you're converting. The funnel works if you have multiple split tests going and they're all arriving on the same um, final success page of the campaign. So um, we're going to leave these set up for now anyway to leave them off. And from here, I just simply click create goal. So here we have a confirmation that our goal is set up. Next thing we're going to do is go and jump over to analytics and set up the actual split testing part. So what we do, we go to reportings and then we're going down to behaviors, behavior, and we're going to go down to experiments. Click on experiments and we'll be into here. And from here, we're going to create a new experiment. So we'll click on create experiment. And we're going to give our experiment a name. I'm just going to call mine split test one. And next we're going to choose the objective of this experiment. And that's the goal that we just created. Okay, so that's where we created that goal first. So we can see it here in this option. If you expand it, you'll see I've got my goal name there. And that's split test. So this is the objective of this whole experiment is to get people to land on that final goal page that we've confirmed there. Um, the traffic, I'm going to leave this set to 100%. You can obviously um, decrease this if you want. This is the amount of traffic that comes into this experiment. So it's going to evenly split the traffic between your two pages. Okay, so that's what we're doing. The percentage of this, we, have, we want all, if you want all your traffic coming to your main pages to be tested, leave it to 100%. Email notification, again, if you want that on or off, that's sort of a personal choice. Expand the advanced options here as well. We've got an option here, distribute traffic evenly across all variations. I'm going to turn that on. So that means 50% of the traffic is going to go to one page and 50% will go to the other. Okay, so we're evenly distributing all the traffic that's coming in. So it gives us an even test. Um, the minimum time for the experiment will, will run. We're going to leave this set to two weeks. That's the maximum time to keep it at that. And then you've got here your confidence threshold. So this is the percentage before the experiment has declared a winner. So you can actually put this up. I'm going to put it to 99. And then from here, we click on next step. Now this is where we're going to bring in our pages that we created earlier on. So for the first page or the original page, I'm going to go and copy the URL from my experiment, which is page A. Back into Google Analytics here, and I'm going to paste it in. You'll see as I'm putting it in here, this start page starts to appear on the right. This one's going to be called original. I'm going to leave the name of this. If you wanted to, you could put in your custom names if you know the name of the page you're testing. So next one, we're going to go and copy page B. We're going to pop that down here. This is variation one. I mean, my pages look very similar. Your own pages might look much different. You might be changing the headlines, the button styles, trying different bullet points, putting images in of products, maybe videos. Um, you want to really try and test as much as you can. The idea would then be to once you get a result of your test, you could then go ahead and split test a bit more on that winning page, whether it's just a case of changing the headline out or maybe a button color, you know, making some real minor changes to compare the differences between the pages that are winning in your results or in your experiments. So when you look at my two pages, they are different colors, they're very minimal changes, but hopefully your own test will be, you know, you'll be putting in you be changing the headlines completely and maybe putting in product images and things. So don't worry if yours looks different to mine. It's obviously we're testing different pages ourselves. If you wanted to test more, you can click on add variation. You can go ahead and um, add in additional pages. So you could have page C and page D, for example. Um, I wouldn't test too many. You'll just uh, sort of end up, you know, going to get quite mixed results. So just maybe keep it a minimal sort of two page test and then go back and actually test some more afterwards. So from here, we're going to click on next step. You'll see here with Bob, we've now got these two um, tick boxes. We've configured the experiment. And from here, we're going to add the code onto our pages. So I'm going to choose this one, which is manually insert the code. 
So if we scroll down, you can see here it says make sure that you have the um, your original variation pages have the Google Analytics tracking code on. We've already done that earlier on. We went and put it into the back end of Optimize Press. We now know our pages contain the Google Analytics code. So what I want to do is take this code from here. And I'm going to copy this. And I want to make sure this goes into my both of my pages that I'm testing. Okay, so I'm going to go to page A. And from here, I'm going to open up the live editor. And we're going to go to page settings. And from here, I want other scripts. And what we're going to do, you can see here, we've got some custom scripts in because this is already um, a custom template. So it's got some CSS and some header. And I'm going to, I want to be putting mine in the header as well. So I'm just going to put it below here. Now, if you don't see what I've got, the fonts, don't worry, yours might be blank. It doesn't matter. You just want to make sure you've got the header selected here and you're going to paste your code in. If you don't see header, you click on add new at the bottom and then you would go and choose either your header or after body, etc. But for Google Analytics, we're doing header. Okay, so if you don't see header like this, click add new and add it. I'm going to remove that for now. I've already got header, so I'm going to paste my code in here. And there's my tracking code. I'm just going to put a return there and break it up. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom and we'll click update. And we'll click OK and click save and close. I'm going to do exactly the same for page B as well. So go to page B, open up the live editor. Paste settings, other scripts. And we're going to paste that code in there as well. Scroll to the bottom and click update. And then we're going to save and close. So we now know we've got the two scripts installed. So let's go back over to analytics. And from here, we've got an option. Click next step. And you'll see here what happens now is that Google Analytics goes and checks that we've got the code installed on our pages. And you can see we've got two little tick options here showing us that it's detected the code on both the pages that we've set up. So from here, all we'd have to do now is click on Start Experiment. And it comes up here saying Experiment Launch. Go to Experiment List. And that's my split test is now running. Now remember, we've got two pages. So we've got our page A and we've got our page B. And then we've got our confirmation page. Okay, so what we're doing here is um, we'll be testing the traffic that's coming to both of these pages. So page A is your control page. That's your main primary page in this whole split test. So that's the page you send all of your traffic to. Google will then split that traffic up 50-50 and putting some of that traffic onto page B and you know split it evenly between the two pages that you're testing. So if you were using an opt-in form and you were creating an opt-in form where people were you know putting in their name and email address, you want to make sure the thank you pages for your opt-in forms also go to the confirmation page. Remember, because that's the page, the final goal result page. So to double check that, what we can do, we could just copy the URL, go into page A, then what we do, we'd open up the live editor. Open up our overlay optimizer here and bring up the opt-in form. What I'll do is I'll just use an email data form for this example. And from here, we'd put in the redirect URL, or this would be the thank you page URL if you're using um, an email list provider, which you've selected from the option above. If I just put these as being one and two, and insert, and update, save and close. So once you've done that, you want to make sure you do that for both of your landing pages. Make sure you put in the, the success page into the, you know, as a thank you page for your opt-in forms. The success page is that end result page. So whatever you're doing, wherever the user gets taken to after they opt in, you know, make sure you put that into your opt-in forms and get it set up correctly because that's the page you're sending all the people to. Um, I've just refreshed this page here and instantly Google Analytics already started putting me onto page B. You can see it's popped up with page B here and the URL in the top bar has got a lot of data in it, but it's just basically showing me that this tracking has already started and it's running live on this site for me. So inside Google Analytics, this experiment here will give you all the data 
Um, you want to come back probably in a couple of weeks, depending on how much traffic you're setting, sending there. You could come back in a couple of days even if you're going to be sending a lot of traffic. It'll start giving you data pretty quickly. You know, It's pretty intuitive. and It'll start telling you if there's a winning page, which is converting more leads. So depending on how much traffic you are sending to your split test, that will really judge on how quickly you want to change the split test around or even turn it off you know, and maybe start tweaking things. Um, for people who don't have much traffic, then you might want to let it run the full two weeks. You engage fully what your users are doing or which page is performing better than all your other pages. So this is really a video showing you the basic setup of what you need inside Optimize Press. You want your three pages. You want to make sure your success page is used in your, in your opt-in forms as the thank you page. You then want to make sure you've got the Google Analytics code installed on your site via the dashboard. We've done that earlier on in the video. And obviously, once you've got that whole thing set up and running, you can go through the steps and start your experiment, start tracking all your data.